So today is the first day of upgrading the Tin Ranger that's hooked up to the back of the truck. I'm gonna head up to a buddy. Uh, he's got a shop I can go work in. He's gonna help me out. We're gonna do this first upgrade. I got more coming, so stay tuned. So last year I came to the conclusion that I am absolutely tired of the trolling motor I had um, and I needed to get something with spot lock on my boat. So busted my butt all fall writing booking orders off our customers and there's some extra dollars that get given to you by the factories if you do X amount for them. Um, I did a pretty good job. So one of the things I wanted to do is upgrade the trolling motor on my boat. So I went ahead and actually ordered myself an Alltrex 80 pound, 24 volts. I'm not changing any of the battery systems um, on my boat. It's still a 24 volt system. And we're gonna put on a little bit longer shaft trolling motor on this boat as well, which is gonna lead to a couple problems that I'm gonna have to address, um, but they're pretty minor and we'll take care of that as we go. And with that, I'm also changing all my graphs to Hummingbird eventually on the boat as well. Um, I have the graph for the bow of the boat ordered. I also have the Mega Live transducer ordered. I actually got my name on one of the ones that's coming into uh, the company that I work for, uh, their warehouse. So. That should be there hopefully in March sometime just before we get the boat back in the water. But I have to get everything else ready to accept a Mega Live. So I'm really looking forward to actually using uh, that technology uh, here in the near future. So I'm going to head up to where my buddy has a shop that we can go work in. And we're going to install an Alltrex. Very heavy trolling motor, by the way. On the front of my Ranger RT198P. So stay tuned. Now, this video is not going to be a how to install a trolling motor, particularly the all tracks. There's a really good video out by Wired to Fish. Uh, In one that. mile, turn right. Search that video up. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, I've watched it a couple times now. Uh, my buddy that's going to help me install this has done this a gazillion times. So it's going to be nice to have somebody walking through doing this particular motor as well. And I've never done this on a boat. So, kind of new to it. Um, but yeah, this is not gonna be a how-to. We're gonna do a little time lapse, kind of show you the finished product, and kind of explain some of the challenges that I have on this boat for mounting it as well, if there is any. Should be in. We got plenty of room. It should be in now. Yeah, you're good. Sweet. Perfect. Change the angle, aren't we? Or you'll always have to put your head to the inside and just kind of keep that as a remembrance. Well, the other one was already sticking out, anyways, and I've, I've hit the poles a few times with it. Not to paint that. It's not tired is what it is. Big motor for a little boat. <laughs> it is. Because you'll have enough room out here to sleep.
So, first big upgrade to the boat this winter. I gotta call a canvas guy and deal with some issues where the motor doesn't really wanna fit underneath the stock cover that I have, but it's not a giant deal. Just gotta add a pocket for the head of the motor to go into and then we should be good to go. So I have a brand new Helix 10 coming for the front of the boat. I got Mega Live coming for the front of the boat. This should really be cool to have out here on St. Clair and just anywhere where I'm going fishing. So really looking forward to it. Stay tuned, I'll have some more updates in the boat um, as we go. And if we don't ever see winter, we'll put her in and we'll go chase some panfish early. So as always guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. Be sure to click down below, hit the subscribe button, ding the notification bell, and as always, tight lines, happy casting. We'll see you in the next video.